Hello, I'm Joyce Harper and I'm Professor at the Institute for Women's Health at University College London. And I know it's a difficult time for those working in fertility at the moment. There's many IVF units that have closed. And I wondered whether those clinicians, nurses and scientists among you have thought about doing some online learning. So a few years ago, we set up a certificate in clinical embryology, but it's a very flexible course and the individual modules, there's eight modules, can be taken um, by anybody and they can be taken just as a one-off. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you about the certificate and I really like to open it up to clinicians, nurses and scientists who may just want to do one module or more than one at this difficult time and we've got some extra time on our hands. So first an introduction to the Embryology and PGD Academy. Um, I'm Joyce Harper and I started as a clinical embryologist back in 1987 after I finished my PhD. And I was very aware when I was learning about clinical embryology that I was taught about the practical side, but I wasn't really taught, taught about the theory of what we were doing. So it's been a passion of me since that time in the late 80s to develop a course for embryologists to learn about the theory of what they do. In 1992, I joined the Hammersmith Hospital team and started working on pre-implantation diagnosis. And in 1996, I started my first hands-on workshop on embryo biopsy. And since then, I've been involved in about 50 workshops globally to teach embryo biopsy and other practical aspects of clinical embryology. Also in 1996, I set up my first master's course at University College London. And we now run courses in prenatal genetics, fetal medicine, reproductive science, and women's health. And since that time, we have trained many of the world leaders in the fertility field, both clinicians, scientists, and nurses. And through that knowledge that I've gained from running these master's courses, I was very aware of what topics I felt were really important for people to learn about clinical IVF. So this has really helped know what to set up in our certificate. I'd like to introduce you to Alpesh Doshi. Alpesh and I have worked together for many years. He came and helped with the embryo biopsy workshops very close to the beginning. And in 2014, we decided to set up the Embryology and PGD Academy to have a form, more formal way of delivering our education in IVF and PGD. And Alpesh and I have worked together over the last few years to develop this certificate in clinical embryology. So the, the certificate in clinical embryology is incredibly flexible. It's all delivered by distance learning. And as I've said, anyone can take these courses. You can take individual courses or take the whole certificate. So we have designed eight modules and you will see as I go through this talk, these talks are delivered by global leaders in our fertility field. So, as I've said, you can take individual modules with or without the online exams. It's very flexible, totally up to you how you do that. And we will provide you with a certificate depending on what stages you do. If you are not working in a clinical IVF lab at the moment, but you want to take the full certificate, then you can certainly do that. You can take the eight modules, the online exams, and also the exit exam. And the exit exam is where we want to see people do some of the practical aspects of fertility uh, treatment, such as how to do a semen assessment and how to do a sperm prep. Um, we can, again, offer these online. The very full certificate involves all of these things, eight modules, exams, exit exam, and also the logbook. And I'm going to explain how the logbook works, but you will need to have these uh, procedures done in your lab and signed off by a supervisor. The modules are accredited by the Royal College of, Royal College of Pathologists. So here are the eight modules. As you'll see, they are the only fully comprehensive uh, education tool for learning about clinical embryology. Right from the laboratory, we've got the cryo module, we've got the genetics module, we've got lab design and quality assessment and troubleshooting, clinical aspects of IVF, new technology and ethics of reproductive medicine, gametogenesis and pre-implantation development, and reproductive health. So I'm going to go through each of these modules in more detail. So how the modules work is that for each module, you'll get a series of lectures. For each lecture, there's a photo and bio of the speaker, a written summary of the talk, a video with PowerPoint, which is very similar to this, a multiple choice questions for your revision, 
and then feedback. It's always really important to hear from our students to see whether they liked the lecture, what they found great, did they think anything was missing and their overall thoughts. So for the module, you take each talk in order and when you have com completed all the talks, when you are ready, you can uh, take the online multiple choice exam. And this exam has very similar questions to that that you did for your revision for each lecture. Um, each person's generated an individual uh, bespoke exam for them. And we will also do regular catch ups using Zoom video conferencing so we can have tutorials with the students. So to apply for the certificate or modules, you visit embryologycertificate.com and this is what you'll see on the homepage. You can click apply now for the full certificate or apply for individual modules. If you're not sure if you want to take the full certificate, please feel free to just take modules in any order that you like. And if you want to take more then you can and you can build up to the full certificate. So you complete the relevant application form online and then we, if we approve you, uh, you do need to have a, um, some basic qualifications to take the full certificate, but not for individual modules. We will then email you with instructions on how to pay. PayPal is the easiest way to pay. Uh, you can use a credit card and it gives you immediate access to the modules, or you can use a banker's draft, but it's a, it's a bit slower. The modules are open throughout the year. Though you take this whenever you want. There are no deadlines. When you are ready to take a module, you take it. It's thought that the full certificate will take embryologists a couple of years to complete. And if you've got any questions, please email us at the IVF PGD Academy Gmail address. So let's go through the module. So module one is the laboratory. So first we're going to have Kay talking about the history of events leading to the birth of Louise Brown and the other first IVF babies. Xavier is going to talk about lab equipment and staff. I've worked for many years with the Estra Culture Media Working Group and published a number of papers on this, and I will talk to you about culture media. Uh, Kiri is going to talk about sequential and single step. Steve's going to talk about semen assessment. Alpesh will talk about preparing sperm. Xavier will talk about lab aspects of IVF and Rachel lab aspects of ICSI. Alpesh will talk to you about the egg collection. Mara about the pronuclear check. Catherine about blastocyst culture, Kay about embryo selection and scoring, Alpesh about the embryo transfer procedure. I will talk about some of the new technology, especially the adjuncts in IVF or the add-ons. Gloria will talk about assisted hatching and Walid and Christina are going to talk about time-lapse. And here is our wonderful faculty for module one. As you can see, really the world leaders in these topics. The log book for module one, is very comprehensive. It covers equipment, media, semen assessment and prep, oocyte collection, insemination, fertilization check, and embryo selection, scoring, and transfer. There may be some procedures that you do not do in your lab, and obviously we will take that into account. So if you don't do some of the procedures, then please just let us know. So module two is our cryo module. Um, we have Barry Fuller, who is one of the global leaders in the principles of cryopreservation. He's given a very long lecture, so we've split this into two. Steve's going to talk about sperm freezing and two of the world leaders in cryopreservation. Laura is going to talk about embryo freezing and Anna about oocyte freezing. Richard's going to talk about ovarian tissue cryopreservation. And while is one of my favorite IVF clinicians, he gives wonderful talks to my students and he's going to talk about the frozen thaw cycle from the clinical perspective. And I'm sure you've read Abba's papers on freeze all and she's going to talk to, to you about freeze all cycles. The cryo logbook is about freezing oocytes, sperm and embryos. Again, if you don't do one of these, then please let us know and we will make allowances. Module three, obviously very close to my heart, genetics, PGT and prenatal diagnosis. I think it's really important for embryologists to understand the basics of genetics, uh, but also prenatal, something that's often admitted in uh, some courses for embryologists. So we're going to learn a bit about basics of genetics um, and chromosome abnormalities. Darren's going to talk about genetics of infertility, I will give an introduction to pre-implantation genetic testing and then Alpesh and Georgia will talk about biopsy. And we could not have any module about PGT without the guru himself, Alan Handyside, is going to talk about genetic diagnosis of PGT. 
Roy will talk about PGTA. Ag Agelaki will talk about uh, non-invasive prenatal diagnosis. Sarah about prenatal diagnosis. Karen about genetic counselling. And I'll finish with some of the e ethical issues around genetics, PGT and prenatal. And here's our wonderful faculty for module three. The PGT logbook will include biopsy preparation, um, including tubing cells and preparing the micromanipulator, uh, embryo biopsy, a little bit more about tubing cells and validation. So module four, I'll just run through these next four modules a bit quicker. We uh, haven't made them live yet. The lab design, quality assessment and troubleshooting is almost ready. Some of these talks are already filmed, so we're just getting them together. We've got Steve talking about lab design, Raga about uh, VOCs, Alpesh about managing the lab, Bashak about quality assessment, Jason about the culture system, Dean about KPIs, Ronnie about auditing, and Antonia about troubleshooting. Module five is on clinical aspects. We're going to talk about male and female infertility and andrology, drug regimes, monitoring a cycle, the fail cycle, and some things about the culture and ART technology on child development. Module six is about new technology and ethics of reproductive medicine. So we're going to talk about lots of the new things such as automation, uh, in vitro maturation, nuclear transfer, mitochondrial replacement, genome editing, etc. It's going to be a very exciting module looking into the future. And the last two modules are some theory. I think it's really essential for students to know. We teach these at UCL and we start with gametogenesis and pre-implantation development. So the anatomy, urogenesis, spermatogenesis, fertilization and pre-implantation development, finishing with implantation. And the last module, reproductive health. So I think it's really essential if you're working in fertility that you understand reproductive health right from puberty to the menopause and including pregnancy. Um, so we're going to cover all of those topics in this area. And this is something that I am really involved with teaching the general public about. So here's some testimonials. We've had many, many testimonials. These are just a few that I've picked. Module one covers all, all the most needed topics for the embryology laboratory. Module one is great. So far, so good. A much needed course, thank you. The teaching was always very engaging. I felt like I was told a story and I pretty much understood everything that was mentioned in the presentation. Thank you for the great work. Found this section very interesting and thought the live demonstrations to be very useful. So just to say that in a number of cases, we have got some mock-ups that Alpish and I have done in the IVF laboratory, um, explaining to you how we do these procedures in a more practical way. And lastly, one of my favorites, a bit biased, I would like to extend my thanks to all the teachers for the nice lectures and my special thanks for the, all the academy members, our lovely Professor Joyce Harper. Sorry about that. So just to also mention our global partners, um, the Sudanese embryology and the Upper Egypt have been with us since the beginning and have been really instrumental to us helping, helping us get this off the ground. The Embryology uh, Academy and Research Training in India have been one of our partners from the beginning. And the Irish and Turkish embryologists have joined us more recently and Overtrain also have been very involved in recent years. And these are some of our um, global partners who have been helping us. So just a reminder to apply for the certificate or for individual modules, visit the embryologycertificate.com and fill in the online form. If you've got any questions about anything I've mentioned here, um, please then email us at ivf.pgd.academy at gmail.com. We've got information about our workshops at, and about the history of what we've been doing at the embryology and pgdacademy.com website, which is slightly different to our embryologycertificate.com website. So it was really lovely to talk to you. I hope that you found this really useful and um, I welcome you to take some of these modules. Thank you. <laughs>